Hello there, beautiful people, and welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Anas, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions and video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment, I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 200 videos on Shopify customization. Actually, I think it's almost 300 videos on Shopify customization, and they were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them, so don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I would be happy to provide you the information you need or even make a video for you. Yeah, you don't have to subscribe, or maybe now you should consider doing so, because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets, highly customizable, to make your Shopify store very unique and professional without having to pay for those expensive teams or hiring those expensive developers or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and it's not a very good idea for a long-term project. But I give you a better deal. Scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing and I'll let you be the judge and I'll respect your decision. But for now, let me show you how to add a video carousel slider section on your Shopify store without using any apps and it's highly customizable. I mean, very, very highly customizable. You can add a custom phone. You can add a product to the videos or no. You can adjust the settings, the width, the spaces, a lot of options that you don't even need. And this is all for free. And yes, you heard that right. The section is completely free. So I would appreciate if you hit that like button and leave me a comment. I do reply to each comment. So just leave me a comment and hit that like button. I would really appreciate it and it will motivate me actually to provide more things for you guys. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. So I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. In each uh, video, I add small customizations. By the video like 70 or 60, the team will be completely different. But I think now I reached that level halfway or even less. For example, check out this all-in-one reviews carousel that will show reviews from multiple sources, Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Etsy, all in one place. And it's highly customizable again. If I click on... Uh, Google, it will only show me the reviews from Google and so on for Facebook and Amazon and Etsy. And this video is already posted, just check it out. It looks very, very amazing. And the things that you can do with this is unlimited. Or even better, check out this recent sales notification that will show you the recent sales. Come on, show up, show up. Come on, here it is. It will show you the recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code, no applications involved, and highly customizable. You can customize the behavior for it, for who to show up, how long it stays open, and the interval between each uh, uh, recent sales notification, and of course the colors and so on. And yes, this is by using your own custom code, no applications involved. But let me show you what I'm talking about. So I will scroll down to this section to show you the video carousel uh, section that I will show you, I will provide you in this video. So I, I will stop scrolling right now on the, on the Shopify store. So every section on the Shopify store, I did it in tutorials. So if you saw anything that you like, and you think it looks good, and you want to implement it in your store as well, then do, just check out the channel. Because once it's here, it means it's already done and posted in one of my previous videos. I don't remove the changes from here. I keep them so people will see them. And this is what I'm talking about, as you can see. And yes, you can set a custom product for each video, or you can skip on that and show just the videos. So there will be only videos carousel without any products on each video. I set, of course, as I said, custom font to the heading, the description for it as well. And all of this by using the section settings. You don't have to touch the code. You don't have to edit any code or anything like that. Just buttons and clicks. So you can highly customize this even if you're like five years old. And as well, it's responsive for the mobile. Let me switch to the mobile to show you how it looks like. And by the way, you're interested in this scroller logos on hover it stops and has this fade at the corners. I already posted that video again. So let me switch to the mobile to show you what I'm talking about. And let me switch from here to, hey, oh, by the way, this one is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user of how many cards he added to the cart. And yes, by using your own custom code. And this one is triggered by the mouse cursor. It detects when the user trying to leave, then it will show up. I was trying to do it like this. So my cursor reached here the mouse cursor, then it did show up. And this is very handy for raising conversion rate, but I'll let you decide. So I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna switch to mobile from here. What is it? iPhone 14, for example, let me reload the page. So if I scroll down and here is, as you can see, this is how it looks like. And you can use your finger to swipe through the videos. If I did like this, as you can see, I can swipe through videos uh, like this. If I'm interested in this product, I can click on it and it will take me to that particular product. Oh yeah, percentage discount. I did that in videos and completely free again. So what else you need? Even a wishlist system on the header as well in here 
What else you need, man? I'm just, I'm just joking. I will quit now. So let me actually get back to Shopify dashboard uh, and do the trick and show you how to add it because I actually already removed it. The power of video editing. So let me get back actually to the previous page. Where is it? Where is it? It's gone, as you can see. No more. It was below the Scrolly logos. It's gone. So how to add it? That's the exact thing I want to show you. Let me close this. And the first thing you're going to do is get back to Shopify dashboard. Next thing you're going to do if you are already in Shopify dashboard, click on online store, then click on teams, then click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit code. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. Because as I said, this is your own custom code, no applications involved in my videos. So the next thing you're going to do is you see this folder right here. It says sections. Simply click on it to be expanded. Then click on the first option, which is add new section. Click on it and it will show this prompt right here and here you can name the section and you can name it anything you want just to avoid confusion name it video dash carousel just like you see I did here and do not add the extension for the file just the name for the file and after that click on done by default we'll create some code in here make sure to remove the whole thing make sure to remove the whole thing if just like closing bracket will cause issues so once it's clear, the next thing you're going to do is you need to hire a developer, pay him, wait 24 hours, then check the code. I'm just joking. It's completely free. Just scroll down the description box and you will see a website, my website. Click on it, then download the file completely free. As I said, download the file, then open that file with any text editor on your computer. Copy the whole code inside it, then simply paste it in here. That was very simple, right? After you did pasting the code in here, Click on the save button, we'll wait for a couple of seconds. Now it's saved, it. then we will get back to the Shopify dashboard and click on customize button because we need to add the section. As I said, this is your own custom section, so you'd have to add it. So the next thing you're going to do is scroll down to the section or navigate to the page or where you want to add the section. In my case, I'm gonna add it on the home page. So I'm gonna add it in the same location, sorry, which is below the scrolly logo. So I'm gonna click on add section in here. I'm gonna search for video and you will see video carousel this one simply click on it and you will see some dancing cats in here <laughs> you see I added this just so you can get some amusement some entertainment out of this so by default it will have these videos but of course you can change the videos I will show you how to do that but first let me head over to the settings so I can show you uh, how to customize it by default the section heading is the uh, future videos as you can see which is this one in here change this however you want in my case i'm going to keep it uh, future videos just for demonstration and below it is the heading size if you want to increase the heading size if i increase it as you can see it becomes much bigger and this one for heading uh, letter spacing and this is very handy because we have the option to add your own custom font to the heading and you can do that very very simple because you can actually use any phone you found online you want to use it simply download that phone file then head back to Shopify dashboard and after that head back to the content section on the left panel then click on files then simply drag the file in here and drop it simple drag, drag the file here and drop it in here it will be uploaded for example this one is OTF which is a phone file then copy the link for it get back in here and simply paste it in here then it will show up select it and if i zoom out here it is but as you can see the text is a little bit messed up it's too close the letters are too close this is why i said this one is handy so i'm gonna uh, actually increase the space between the letters as you can see it's much better so this is actually based on the phone you are using for my case as you can see this phone actually required to add it some space between the letters and that's why i added this option so here it is it looks better now and below is this section description which is the description below the future uh, videos title and i don't have anything in here i'm gonna type like description uh, for video carousel yeah just for demonstration and here it is and below is the description size if you want to increase the size I will decrease it, I don't want it too much larger. And below is the space, the option for the space between the heading and the description. This space right here between the heading and description, you can actually decrease that if you want. Let me do that. That's too close. Let me actually increase it just a little bit. More, maybe 15. I think 15 will be, yeah, 15 is perfect. And below is the change slide every seconds 
which is by default is eight. And I added a description here so you can see set zero for disable autoplay. So each, right now, each eight seconds would change the slide. So this is based on the videos you have. If the videos are a little bit longer, maybe you wanna increase this. If a little bit like shorter, then don't. But if you wanna showcase the all the videos, I would recommend you to keep it short, uh, even if you have long videos. So in my case, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do five, five seconds. And below is this spacing gap. So the gap, this gap right here between each video, you can actually increase this to increase the space as you can see between each video or decrease this to decrease the space between each video. In my case, I'm gonna keep it just like this. I think it was a 10 by default. And below, if you wanna show the arrows or no. In my case, I'm gonna enable them so it will show the arrows and here they are as you can see. And below is the text uh, appearance. Uh, the text on the videos because as I said you can add actually product if you add product It's gonna show the title of course. It's gonna show the title and uh, the button below So this one will actually resize the text uh, The title for those products on top of the video in my case I'm gonna keep it 100% and below is the colors text color button text color background button background color and the background color for the whole section in my case I'm gonna keep them by default and the layout options which is a top padding bottom padding and the navigation space in between, uh, that's a description here, so you can see a space between the carousel and navigation, this space right here. In my case, I'm gonna keep it just 20 for demonstration. Now, how to add the videos. That's very sec simple. You see on the left panel right here, below the section, video carousel, and there is these are videos. If I click on this one, the first one, you will see two options in here. First one, video, second one, product. So if I click on this, it will show me all the videos. Make sure the videos are, uh, horizontal vertical sorry vertical ratio which is like TikTok and reels and instagram shorts videos uh, in my case i'm gonna add this for demonstration and below is the product if i select a product from here let me select this one here it is it will show the title for the product and a button for the product so you can pick actually if you want to use this section as just a video showcase or you want to show it actually just like a collection sh showcase which is you can showcase your products when each product has its own video. And this is highly customizable, you saw. And if you need other options to add to this section, just drop me a comment below. I would be happy to help you out. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.